What's up gamers? General Moo Moo here and today we're going to be opening up this uh, this package. I don't know what's in here, but uh, you guys do because you read the title. But for me this is a mysterious package that showed up. Could have some Pokemon stuff I ordered. No nubs to hook in, just sits on the back. That's cool. And then these must go on the arms. Must they? Where do these go? I don't know. I'll assemble these fire on them. And uh, we'll see it in the posing. So, uh, see you there. <laughs> me for a second there uh i really thought it was real and then i uh, i looked at the bottom of the foot and it says this
now uh, Mon, Mon Masbro, whatever it was. Obviously not the company that made this. Uh, well, maybe that made this. This is a bootleg. I kind of knew it the whole time. Uh, of course, of course it's a bootleg. <laughs> like, come on. But um, I was crazy impressed. The stability of it. The, uh, the movability of it. It's a it's a high quality bootleg, uh, not something I expected. I mean, when I first ordered it, I was like, okay, it's got good reviews. But then I looked at the seller, and the seller didn't all have good reviews. So I thought maybe they have like a bunch of accounts that they give themselves good reviews with, or something like that. But no, no, I I honestly think um, this is a good uh, a company to buy uh, fakes from. Pains me to say that. And, uh, I'm not really going to be buying many more, any, hopefully, any more of these, uh, bootleg figures, but, uh, if there's something really cool, maybe. I don't know. I got Spider-Man Homecoming, uh, the one where he wears the yellow jacket, Target exclusive. I bought that, uh, that's coming soon. Like, to me, it's coming soon. To you, it, it might be, like, a whole, like, three or four weeks till that video gets out. Um, because I've got so much stuff here I haven't opened. I just got this box here. Talos is sitting on top. I didn't get Nick Fury's in here. I haven't even opened the plastic wrap to look at it. Um, anyway, we got this. This is coming soon. We just hit 40 subs. That's pretty epic. Uh... So we got Voltron for 40 subs to open up. Anyway, uh, I didn't give this thing a final review. It's different. On bootlegs, this is a, a 10 for bootlegs. This is un, unreal the amount of quality they put into this. But as for figures, uh, if I got this figure, I would be kind of disappointed just because there are some discrepancies like in his head. His head is like it's hollow and it's very light it doesn't move very well uh, there's also some squeaks like in the joints um, so if this was like an actual figure and an 88 and if this was a normal figure a six inch figure I would I would probably give it a seven but if this is an eight inch this is a bath okay the standard is higher so I I gotta if this was a normal figure that Hasbro or Toy Biz or anyone else had had produced, I would say that this is a uh, this has got to be a five. It's it's cool. The details there, the joints are just not. But that being said, it's it's not a legitimate figure. It's a bootleg, so it deserves much higher score. Anyway, next up. We're opening uh, Genus Veil, if I can find the big thing. We're building the big little figure, one piece at a time. I've got the whole thing here. I've got Grey Gargoyle, Talos, Nick Fury. We've already opened uh, Jan Rogue and uh, Captain Marvel. Got two pieces down. We're just going to have to grind this out. I really want to build the figure. And I just bought some new Ikea shelves, so um, there might be a video of that. Just me moving... Uh, all the figures I've gotten over and uh, doing it, doing it. So uh, that'll be all. Have a good, uh, have a good day.